Okay, hello everyone, um, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your 3DS Luma custom firmware just by copying a few files over to your actual 3DS SD card. Now, you can either use FTP or you could use the actual SD card slot. But for me, I'm using the SD card slot, so I can just go in here. Boom. Everything already right here. So um, you're gonna want to go to the wiki. Sorry, the releases page. You can just search in through this. And the reason why I'm making this video is because version 7.0 has been released, which has a chain loader built in, which is very very good now I already have this downloaded but I'll just download it again so as you can see it went from V6.6 .6, and you should see all of this and if you see that then that's good because <laughs> you know it's not corrupt or anything okay so you may be thinking okay what is this MS set spider MS set menu hacks hacks Obviously, you probably know what this is. This is our mine load hacks, which is the thing you actually boot off of. So, um, another weird thing I found was, um, that occasionally it would be very weird and it would not let me extract it by dragging and dropping it. If that doesn't work, just literally mm, drag it to your downloads folder or whatever. Okay, so um, I'll just drag it to my desktop. Um, so obviously you're going to want to replace unknown load hack stop bin, which if you already have Lumi installed, should already be here, right here. There's two in here. That's weird. <laughs> Let me just refresh that. Yeah, there we go, it's there. Alright, so I can just copy there. It should actually work, but I, I already did it, so you need to replace that. Then, in here, chances are you have Homebrew installed. If you have Menu Hacks installed, if you're on 11.2 or lower, you can copy the newest boot.3dsx and put it at the, of the folder, but you should see a 3ds and you're like well I don't want to overwrite my whole 3ds folder so in here there is a folder called Luma 3ds where you can simply have that boom and you just got to drag and drop that into 3ds which is 3ds SD card 3ds boom and then just drag and drop Luma 3ds and then you should be updated to the latest version of Luma 3DS. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button. Um, if you want to see more tutorials that are simple like this, um, leave a comment, maybe subscribe if you like more of this content. I'll see you guys later. Bye.